Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so on to another haul from Arrow Video. Uh, I'm going to be showing four releases in this video and one limited edition that is, is really beautiful. It's a, it's, a, it's a movie that I have seen. Wow, I must have been around 10 years old when I last seen it. And my memory is completely hazy on it. But uh, as soon as I seen this limited edition set of it, I knew I needed it. And uh, again, I got some help with it. Well, I get into, I will get in more into that now in a second. So uh, let's get through these. Uh, some interesting pickups, that has to be said. So I'm going to start with the first one. And uh, it is called The Wind. Now, one thing I'm going to say about this movie, I'm actually just going to read the synopsis in the top of the box here because it says everything that needs to be said about this movie. It's a, it's a very intriguing movie. So it's, uh, what would you do if going outside meant being killed by a raging hurricane but staying indoors means being hacked to pieces by a sickled-wielding maniac. And that's the wind. Uh, it's a very um, it's a very unique uh, story, I have to say, as a unique slasher movie. Uh, unfortunately for me, it was poorly executed. It had a great idea. You know, you have Meg Foster, the stars in this movie. Uh, and I actually loved her performance in this movie. But um, the film was lacking any kind of suspense, and that's where it really got me. Uh, it was such a shame, and you should see the setting of this movie. It just has this beautiful looking setting to a good horror movie setting. This kind of old town in Spain, I think it's like an, on an island on, in Spain. I think it's Spain. And uh, it's just kind of almost this ruined old looking town. Uh, and unfortunately, they just didn't utilize the town enough. Um, and like I said, the suspense itself was just completely not there it was really really poor and uh it really is a shame because um no don't no i haven't said that folks this film is not bad uh it's just it's just one of those movies when i seen the trailer to it and when you do see the trailer to it it just looks incredible and uh it just didn't live up to the trailer unfortunately but uh, i still found enjoyment with it and again it was largely down to meg foster uh, i do like her in this movie i thought she was quite brilliant um but yeah it's just a shame about the the story and the suspense it just wasn't there for me so uh yeah that was my first pickup uh the wind um i still definitely recommend checking it out just for the just so you can see the setting of this movie it really is quite brilliant so uh yeah that is the wind uh right up next uh we got hellgate now this one's actually quite brilliant because now when i say quite brilliant not so much the movie but uh this version of it uh, I actually found this in CX and I paid little or nothing to it and to my absolute amazement when I turned around the back of it it is uh, limited to 1000 copies um, yeah I was uh, really surprised by that um, I knew that there was only a thousand of these when they first came out and then they reissued them out and uh, yeah I managed to get one of the, the one of the one of the thousands so uh, that is quite brilliant uh, as for the movie itself I remember seeing this back in the day uh, again, kind of like the wind, where um, it had a great premise. That you know, like the the setting of the movie uh, was quite brilliant. But uh, some of the set pieces in the movie, the acting as well, absolutely shocking. And uh, yeah, I found the movie to be kind of boring in parts as well. Uh, the main woman in this movie, the the main, I suppose she's the villain of the movie. I suppose uh, she is absolutely shocking. Her acting, you can kind of tell by her. That I didn't check this up now, and I'm probably am wrong, but I kind of get the impression that she might have been a model, and uh, she clearly had no acting skills at all. But they got her in just for her looks and her looks alone, uh, which is a, not a great thing, has to be said. I don't think you should be bringing in people uh, just for their looks. Uh, you should have to get, you know, they need the acting chops as well. But um, unfortunately, uh, she did not have it, and um, yeah, a bit of a shame on this one. But um, like I said, it has a good set to the movie. Uh, it just didn't deliver on when you know suspense or kind of anything like that, you know But again didn't pay spend a whole lot of money for it So uh, it's great to get it and like I said to get the one of the the thousand uh, is quite brilliant So uh, yeah, that is hell night bit of shame about the movie Right up next and this really is a great one And we have got I see you and this movie stars Helen Hunt uh, this film was a real surprise. It really, really was. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to say about it, now, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I definitely do not want to spoil this for anyone. But uh, when we watched this, uh, we came across this term that was said in this movie. It's called frogging. And we never heard of that before. But in case anyone's wondering what frogging is, 
It's basically about when people move into a house and the owners of the house actually don't know that they're actually living in it. That's what frogging is. Now, I don't know what's scary, scarier, the fact that, you know, people actually do this or the fact that it actually happens so much so often, they actually had a th term for it. Uh, it really is, um, that is a scary notion. And, uh, you know, all them, when you see the, this movie and you see, like, in the how to get into this house, uh, you know, you really do want to lock up your garage doors when you actually do see this movie. Uh, it would scare the living crap out of you how easily it was done. But uh, the movie is absolutely fantastic. Some amazing performances in the movie. Great suspense. And uh, some very good twists, I have to say, in this movie as well. Uh, things, scenes, I, one or two scenes in this I just did not see coming. And uh, if you're kind of into your, you know, your good old-fashioned kind of thriller movies, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. I see you. And uh, it was great to get a nice uh, slipcover with this as well. So, uh, yeah, that is uh, I see you. Great movie. Really, really enjoyed it. Right, up next we have uh, the limited edition set that I'm going to be showing off. And um, we have got Major Dundee. Now, again, I do remember seeing this movie way, way, way back in the day. I have not seen it in... I can't even remember what the movie was like. But I have this weird memory that I'm almost certain that I did enjoy it. Uh, I still haven't gotten around to it, watching it yet. But um, I have to give two shout-outs for this release. Uh, Peach over at Play Nintendo. I will leave a link in the description below. He did an unboxing of this and he made me aware of how beautiful this set actually is. Uh, when you do see it, and I will take us around it now in a few minutes, uh, the digipacks inside look absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, so Pete done an unboxing for that, and uh, I knew when I seen his video, I instantly wanted to pick this up. Now, unfortunately, uh, and I'm hoping that someone can really help me out with this, uh, I've spoken to a lot of people about it, and I just can't seem to get a definitive answer on this. But um, I buy off Amazon UK. That's, that's, that's the, my website of choice. And uh, this was not available. It was unavailable. I couldn't get it. But yet, yeah, my good friend John over at Mondo Chelovic Movies, I was talking to him one night. He went on to Amazon UK because he lives in the UK. And rest assured, there was this set for £20. But I'm using Amazon UK as well. But I live in Ireland and it was unavailable. So we are absolutely baffled by it. We don't understand what is going on. Uh, I, it happens a lot with me with Second Sight's limited edition sets. For instance, their newly released Drive or the, their new movies, The Witch or Dog Soldiers. Uh, none of them are available on Amazon UK over on my end. But rest, rest assured, John checked out Drive. Uh, this is a couple of weeks back now. He checked out Drive. It was available to pre-order on his end as well as The Witch. But uh, yeah, for some strange reason, when I'm, uh, the fact that I'm living in Ireland, we can't seem to get them. So uh, John came to the rescue on this one. He said to me, look, I'll order it. Uh, and then I'll ship it out to you. And um, he, amazingly enough as well, for John, and I have to give praise for this, um, he didn't want any money for shipping. He kind of gave it as a birthday gift. And uh, I was absolutely blown away by that, John. So thank you so much for that. So I'm going to take us around this release and show you exactly what it looks like. But before I do, uh, anyone that's aware of me and John when it comes to us sending stuff to each other, we always do put in a, a letter and it's always on a piece of kitchen roll. And rest assured, uh, John, of course, couldn't resist. And uh, he has put this to give me the piece of kitchen roll. And I'm going to just read out what he said on it. So he says, hi, Keish. Here is our regulation kitchen roll as per usual. Unfortunately, due to economic landscape, I need you to wash and return this piece of kitchen roll. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I blame Boris. It's not a wig, Johnson. And happy birthday again. Absolutely fantastic, John. And as per usual, this will be put into this set. And uh, again, a huge, huge thank you to John. And again, I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, please do go over and check out John's, cha John's channel. The amount of additions that he has now sent, uh, he's helped me out with. Uh, mainly to, to, to do with Arrow or Second Sight in particular. Uh, my collections would look pretty sad if it wasn't for him. So again, if you could do, go over and check him out. Right, so let's get on to uh, this Major Dundee release and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, so here we go, Major Dundee. And the first thing I will say is the artwork looks absolutely exquisite on it. It just gives you that kind of old school feel. And uh, yeah, again, give credit to Arrow. Looks absolutely amazing. So as you can see, I spoke about this briefly that the... 
the the digi packs that these discs are housed in looks absolutely amazing and uh i would love to see more of this from uh arrow video i really really do i don't slide out there for a second so uh that is the spine of it there and as you can see the artwork continues from the front and goes onto the spine and then i will take it around to the back and that is everything you get with it and of course uh just uh typical of arrow uh absolutely jam-packed with special features and uh, you've also got an extended version here as well and you've got the theatrical on this too so uh, you are well covered when it comes to this movie i definitely have not seen the extended version i know it was the theatrical that i've seen so uh, i'll just remove this j card just so as you can show you the back of it there and uh, it's one of them packs that um the artwork just continues from front spine and back so uh again well done arrow looks absolutely incredible so uh just put that j card back on Right, so I'll remove everything out of this box set. And uh, I can't stress this enough. I would love to see more of these uh, from Arrow Video. So uh, here we go. This is the first of the discs. And this is the extended cut of it. And uh, again, loving the artwork. And uh, all the artwork on this set is completely different as well. So that gives you, again, a closer look at uh, some of the features you do get with it. It really is quite amazing. And uh, take his back out and then show you the uh, disc itself. But I'll just show you that's uh, an upcoming release over the edge. Uh, never heard of it. So, uh, yeah, that's the inside of it there. So then that takes us on to the theatrical cut of it. And again, if you have seen the extended version of this, uh, please do share your thoughts on it. I would love to hear what you think. Um, does it make a, a radical difference? Um, very curious to hear. So, uh, yeah, that is some of the features then you get with the theatrical release of it. And then open this up, and that is your, your disc, and that's the inside artwork as well. So, right, that is Major Dundee, and then you have a poster here. You've also got a booklet, and uh, I'm going to take it quickly around this. So you have Viva Dundee at the back, and that's again. So, again, going by just the artwork, all separate artwork, different artwork. It's always great to see. It really, really is so uh i'm going to take us through this and uh it's one of those things that it's one of those movies that i haven't even watched knocked it on just to get an idea of what the transfer is like bush uh going by arrow and a lot of their blu-ray releases i'm sure it is going to be quite remarkable to look at so uh very very excited to see it so uh that is the the book you get with a lovely gloss finish to it and then that lastly brings us on to uh the poster i'll just see if i can get this in frame if i can get to give you an idea of it so that is basically the artwork on the main slip box uh, it's the completed picture uh which looks uh, really does look amazing and then i'll take us around to the back and that's the old school uh poster for it so again i can't really get it all in frame folks but uh, i think he's got a good idea of it so there you have it folks uh, just uh another absolute remarkable release from arrow you got your uh, your booklet there you got your oh, sorry your poster you got your booklet uh, you've also got your two discs your theatrical and your extended version and then you've got this beautiful looking hard box uh, that housed them all in so that is major dundee right folks so there you have it that is my arrow video pickup for this week and uh some good movies in there unfortunately ones that were a bit of a letdown but they're not terrible they were just a bit of a letdown and it was a bit of a shame as well so that is it folks that is it so as per usual if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and again please share your thoughts on some of these movies and uh, yeah i hope to see you all again real soon with my next video until then i'll see you soon bye bye